Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the site kit by Google plugin on a brand new WordPress website. So this is a brand new website and I'm going to show you how you can install this plugin step by step. Using this plugin, you can connect your WordPress website with Google Analytics, Google Search Console, Google Page Speed Insights, as well as Google AdSense. You can also create Google Analytics Search Console or AdSense account and Google will give you some course that you can add on your WordPress website and link your website with Google services. However, if you do not want to do it manually, you can simply install the site kit by Google plugin and this plugin is going to connect your WordPress website with all these accounts automatically. It is also going to verify the website automatically. So you do not need to verify your website with Google manually. So let's see how we can install the site kit by Google plugin on a brand new WordPress website step by step. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and this is a brand new website. On this website, I'm going to install the free site kit by Google plugin and I'm going to link this website with Google accounts. So we are going to integrate Google Analytics as well as we are going to create the Google Search Console account for this website using the site kit by Google plugin. So let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. And here search for site kit by Google and you will see the first plugin that is site kit by google analytics search console adsense and speed insights so click on install now this plugin has been installed on more than 4 million wordpress websites click on activate the plugin is activated let's click on refresh now and in the left hand panel you will see the option site kit click on it so this is the dashboard and we have not linked this website yet. So on the dashboard, you will see set up site kit. We are going to set up this site kit plugin now. First, we need to connect Google Analytics as a part of your setup. So check this box. Here it says help us improve site kit by sharing anonymous usage data. If you want to check it, you can check it. I'm not going to check this option. Click on sign in with Google. So in order to set up Google Analytics or Google Search Console for your website, you need to have Google accounts. If you do not have Google account, you can create a new account. If you already have Google account, you can select one of your Google accounts. I'm going to select one of my Google accounts and I'm going to log into the Google accounts now. It says sign in to SiteKit. We need to click on continue. It says SiteKit already has some access. See the seven services. Let's click on continue have google verify your site ownership to verify that you own this website google adds a verification token to your site's html code so we need to verify it now it is going to add a verification token on your wordpress website it says turn on metrics in your dashboard click on allow so it will show all the metrics on the wordpress dashboard itself so you don't need to go to google analytics or google search console website you will see all the data inside your wordpress dashboard set up search console click on setup and set up google analytics click on next please select the account information below you can change this later in your settings you will see some accounts are already set up google account is already set up for another wordpress website in this case i want to create a new account for this new website so i'm going to select set up a new account if you do not have any account, then you will get this option set up a new account. Here you can add the account name. This is the name of the website and this is the URL of the website. It is going to create a property inside that account. Remember, you can create multiple properties inside single account. So I'm going to keep it as it is. This is the property and this is the web data stream. So leave it as it is. Click on the country and select your country. So I'm going to select the country here. So I'm going to select India and this is the time zone. Enable enhanced measurement, leave it as it is. Click on create an account. Again, select the email or the Google account. Click on continue. Click on continue again. So it is going to create a new account inside Google Analytics for this particular website. 
right so you will see some terms and condition you need to check these options and agree to these conditions click on i accept and click on go to my dashboard it says your analytics account was successfully created now we are on the dashboard congrats on completing the setup for analytics click on ok i got it see other services maybe later now here you will see some options the first option is which will show the traffic on your website how many visitors are coming to your website what are the sources of this traffic your traffic is coming from search results or it is coming from direct clicks or maybe from social media so it will show all the metrics of the traffic here then we have content under content it will show which pages are ranking higher which pages are getting clicks on your wordpress website this metric will show the speed of your website or the pages of your website it will show how you can improve what are the changes that you can make to improve the speed of your pages on the website then you have monetization which is nothing but google adsense you need to apply for the google adsense you can simply connect your website with google adsense and once it is reviewed and approved then it will show the adsense on your website here in the left hand panel go to settings and under settings it will show you which services are connected currently we have search console connected then analytics is also connected and the page speed insight is also connected if you want to connect to more services you will see the option here ads if you want to connect google ads you can connect google ads the process will remain same you just need to set up ads then you need to allow the google site kit to access the google ads and it will be set up inside the wordpress dashboard same process for the google adsense you can apply to google adsense from the wordpress dashboard itself then you can also add google tag manager creates an easy to manage way to create tags on your site without updating code then we have admin settings your site key is connected display relevant page stats in the admin bar all right let's go back to dashboard again and here at the top you will see last 28 days if you want to see the last seven days data last 14 days data you can select from the drop down option here now here it says it can take up to 72 hours before stats show up for your website while you are waiting connect more services now this is a brand new website and it is not going to show the data immediately it will take some time to show the data on your wordpress dashboard if i go directly to analytics.google.com i can see that the account has been created i'll show you the account here here i'm logging into analytics.google.com this is showing some other website data if i go to all accounts you will see the account has been created here so i can simply go to that account it will show the analytics of this account no data received from your site because this is a new site if i go to search console you can search for search console google and you can sign in to the google search console and you will see your property is added there you need to sign in with the same google account so if you click on drop down box you will see your property is added there you are a verified owner you can also set up the search console manually in that case you need to get the verification code and add that code manually into your wordpress website now when you install the site kit by google plugin it is going to do all the work you don't need to do it manually your site will be verified automatically by the plugin itself all right so you can see that the analytics and the search console account is already set up so it is very easy to install the site kit by google plugin on your wordpress website even if it is a new wordpress website you just need to follow some steps and you will be able to integrate google analytics google adsense google search console and page speed insights on your wordpress website so you don't need to go to all those websites you will see all the data inside the wordpress dashboard so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.